video I'm going to show you how to use Video Studio 2015 to create a gauge based program with C Sharp. I'm going to start a new project. Windows Form Application. Call this Gauge. Program. And there's your form to start with. Now, the key thing you got to do first is add in driver called A gauge. To do that you right click over that, not that. Go to add system item and you go to your folder where you would hopefully have this downloaded. Select that file. Gauge.cs. Once you have that in there, you can see that show up over there on the right side here. Now, the trick to get this video studio to actually recognize that, you start, start the debugger, and then you stop. Once you do that, it seems to compile things or whatever to make it know that that's really there. And now in your toolbox, you have an A gauge. Pop that right there. And look at that. You have a nice little gauge. Now you can, you can figure that over here the properties, minimum value, oh, it's negative numbers, so I'll set that to zero, and you can set your max value to whatever else you want. that maximum to 100. And now we'll adjust the ticks. We'll spread out the ticks better. So now we got our ticks a little better. And then we double click on that track bar we just created. It'll create our event anytime we scroll it. We'll say our A gauge value is equal to our track bar value. And that's it. Then we do start. And look at that. We have a So whatever you put into a gauge one that value, you'll put out as a gauge value. Pretty cool, huh?